Are you having trouble understanding the ins and outs of particle analysis? Or are you just not even sure why you need to do it? Well, in this video, we'll have an in-depth look at all things particle analysis, so stick around. Hi, I'm Candice, and I'm the Product Manager for Particle Analysis here at WS Tyler. No matter what industry you work in, knowing the size of the particles in your products is a crucial aspect of your quality control, right? But what exactly is particle size analysis? Well, WS Tyler has been at the forefront of the particle analysis industry for over 150 years, and we strive to provide you with the know-how and equipment needed to maintain efficient quality control. So in this video, we'll go over what particle size analysis is, why it's important, and how particles are recorded. So particle size analysis is the process in which dry, free-flowing material is analyzed to determine the size and shape of the particles in the sample. It's conducted by companies that want to ensure that the product, whether it's something that they're producing in-house or that they purchase from another company to put into their products, meets the standards needed to provide the consistency or quality that they're looking for. For example, in plastic extrusion, particle analysis is used to determine the batch size of the material. When it's time to melt the plastic for production, they use this batch size information to determine the temperature that the plastic needs to be heated to for adequate throughput. Failure to implement reliable particle analysis can lead to product recalls and early product failure because the starting material was not the right size and couldn't withstand production. Not knowing the size of your material's individual particles can cause major issues in your production line which could cost you thousands, if not millions of dollars in potential revenue. Like in the fracking industry, if you're working with a mixture of particle sizes that are too varied, an uneven distribution of vacuum pressure could be created. Then the fracture that the oil is being drawn from may shift, closing the wellbore and stopping the production of oil. But then you look at the pharmaceutical industry, which relies on particle size as it controls the rate that the medicine dissolves and disperses throughout your body. Failure to know and control the particle size of any given medicine can lead to costly lawsuits and, more importantly, cause harm to the patient taking the medication. To put it simply, knowing particle size is just one of the many precautions needed to ensure the specification, quality, and effectiveness of a product. In order to accurately produce particle analysis results, there are three methods that can be used. Test sieve analysis, air jet sieve analysis, or dynamic image analysis. Test sieve analysis is when a stack of test sieves is paired with a sieve shaker, like the WS Tyler Rotap. It requires sample material to be placed on the top sieve in the stack. Then, the test sieve shaker rotates while a hammer mechanism taps the top of the sieve stack. This makes the materials pass through the openings of the test sieves, and the operators can begin recording the results. This method is ideal for those that want a particle analysis process that is easy enough for any operator on their staff to maintain and is still accurate enough to comply with industry standards. Air jet sieve analysis is when an air jet sieve, like the Alpine E200LS, is used to generate air from a vacuum and propel it through a single sieve. This method of particle analysis works exceptionally well when analyzing material that often becomes agglomerated, like powdered sugar. This is because the rush of air makes agglomerated particles collide with the plexiglass lid and separate. Dynamic image analysis is when dynamic image analysis systems like the WS Tyler Computerized Particle Analyzer, or the CPA, is used to determine the size and shape of dry, non-agglomerating particles as fine as 20 microns, like sand. The CPA utilizes a vibrating tray to drop particles past a high-resolution digital line scan camera that scans up to 10,000 lines per second. The way you record particle size is different depending on which standards you're following. For example, in most ASTM standards, particles are measured based on the mesh count of the sieve that prevents the particle from falling into the next sieve in the stack. So then, if you're working with an aggregate and a particular piece of sediment was resting on a 50 mesh test sieve at the conclusion of the analysis, you would describe that particle as a 50 mesh piece of sediment. Particles are also measured in inches, millimeters, and microns. A good rule of thumb to follow is that if a particle is smaller than an inch, use the mesh count, millimeter length, or micron size as the unit of measure. For the most part though, particle analysis is used to test particles with a size range of 20 microns up to four inches. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, 
WS Tyler has a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, I'm Candice and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.